This is going to be a video to plot a probability density function with countable support in R using ggplot2. Step one, identify the distribution inclusive of specific parameters and the support. Let's name the support capital S. Determine the population mean, let's call it capital E, and variance, let's call it capital V. Now, if the support is countable, that technically means you can have a countably infinite set of values in the support of this distribution. So it's a little bit tougher to pick the vector of support for this distribution. A strategy I like to use is to pick integers in between the endpoints specified by the formula you see next, where I've tried to use varying sets of curly braces, parentheses, and brackets to help your eye determine what's going on. Now, if you look at the expected value, the mean minus four times the square root of the variance terms, or the uh, mean plus four times the square root of the variance terms, you will see some weird symbols surrounding those quantities. On the left-hand side, the it looks like a capital L facing forward and backwards surrounding the E minus four times the square root of E. That's saying to round down. That is a function built into R named floor. On the far right side of this line, uh, if you're familiar with a capital gamma, or the backwards capital gamma surrounding the e plus four times the square root of v. Those are symbols to say round the quantity in between those up. And r has a built-in function named ceiling? Maybe just seal. I forget which. We'll find out soon. Once you have the endpoints, the bounds of the vector of support, you can create a sequence from the lower bound to the upper bound. We will put that vector of the support into a data frame alongside a column of the density function evaluated at each x in the bounds of the support we have specified above. And then we'll make our plot in ggplot. Let's dive into R and give this a go. Since we'll be using the library ggplot2, we'll load that first. I'm going to pick the Poisson distribution with parameter, I don't know, 6 seems good to me, which will give us a support over the integers from 0 to positive infinity we are going to pick as a lower bound though the mean here let's create new variables to help match to the code we had before now you can just look those up online if you need them but i just happen to know them so we'll go with it so now we want the max of the minimum well the support for the poisson distribution has a minimum of zero. So technically, I want the max between zero and the floor of six minus four times the square root of, whoops, let's use our variables here, square root of v. That will be the lower bound. We can evaluate it and let r yell at us for not creating our variables first. We will determine the lower bound of the vector of support we are gonna create will be zero. And the upper bound, um, let's see, that's going to be the minimum of positive infinity or ceiling, as it's named in R, of e plus four times the square root of v. And obviously the upper bound will not be positive infinity. The vector we will have will go from lower bound to upper bound. R has a built-in density function for the Poisson distribution named dplos, 
we can plug in the, val the vector x we just created, the support, uh, the parameter 6. We will run those two. We will put these into a data frame. And on the x-axis, we'll put the vector x, and on the y-axis, the vector fx. This is a distribution with a support only at the positive integers, non-negative integers. So we will use the geometry of a point. And I see now that I did not create my data frame appropriately. There is a reasonable plot of the density function for a Poisson distribution with parameter equals to 6.